Hello Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your angel advice, oracle card messages, for the week of September 4th through the 10th. My new subscribers, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing, taking the time to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do appreciate all of you. I really do. So my free reading that I'm going to be giving away for those of you that want to get in on that. It's the it's a 14 card reading. Usually more cards with clarifiers. Typically fifty dollars. So at the end of the video, just um, click the link below. And that will take you directly to my Facebook page. Um, just simply just like the page. And that's all. And I will be picking the winner on 9-11. And hopefully giving the reading on the next day, the 12th. Now, for those of you who have that have asked about a PayPal button, I have added that. PayPal button and that is located on my home page under about and on my Facebook page it is listed under in prism okay now the cards that I'm going to use are all by Doreen Virtue her angel tarot is by Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine I'm also going to use the butterfly oracle cards for life changes Flower Therapy Oracle Cards, Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. Mermaids and Dolphins, Doreen Virtue. I knew that was going to happen. This says Aquarius. I know you probably can't see it. It's light. And by Tori Hartman, a just a Wisdom Oracle um, Chakra Card. Weekly Advice Card. They're pretty, um, they're pretty cool. I like them. Okay. Also, please, if this reading does not resonate with you, check your moon and your or your rising sign. Your rising sign, just in case you don't know this, it is that is your ascendant sign. You could get that information free at cafeastrology.com. It's very simple, it's easy, and it literally takes a minute. Okay, so Aquarius. You guys come in with the Ten of Air. So, Ten, completion, tradition, end of a cycle. There's no doubt this card is a endings, whether it's a relationship or a new career, a new job. And I'm thinking that's what it is for you guys by the looks of your other cards. Um, you know, this card most definitely, you know, represents an ending. It's just, in this deck, you know, because keep in mind, during Virtue's decks, are more on a spiritual based level you know God your angels okay so in this deck you know it is definitely an ending but it's it's more represents an ending it's just more than not it's an ending that's been anticipated and quite possibly you know even welcomed you know it's a weight off your shoulders um, you know, you, you you probably will be sad about the ending, but, you know, at least it's finally over. You can move on. You're no longer holding on to what has been. You know, it, you can start a new life. Create a new life of what will be. In this deck, too, anybody who's, if you're um, trying to recover from any kind of an addiction, 
you know, the emphasis being on recovery. Um, you know, so there's there, there could be you know, peace with the ending. Yeah, not really feeling it that way, but I'm really feeling is that you're going to be at peace with the energy, you know, of this ending. And I really do think it's going to be with a new career. New career by the butterflies. I love these cards. So... It's definitely a happy change, whatever this Ten of Air is going to bring. This card, you know, it, it's a happy change. In your, in your work life, you know, your, your career is definitely heading in the right direction with this card. You know, you could be... You know, learning maybe a new skill with this card. Definitely a new ending. Definitely an ending in a job. You know, a new career. And it could just be even be, you know, exciting part-time work. You could be starting your own business. You know, trusting your business ideas, a new business partner, maybe. Taking classes toward your new career, which for some of you could be spiritual teaching. This card, you know, share your wisdom with others. You were born to teach by the crocus. Definitely get to know your flowers with these cards. So, you know, for some of you, you could be, you know, going to be a spiritual teacher, such as like a Sunday school teacher or catechism teacher. Um, you know, and that's gonna, you know, be your big dream, your new career path. Or for some of you, with this card, you know, you have the ability to relay healing messages to others. You know, this card is confirmation that you need to begin your spiritual teaching work. You know, right now you just could be, you know, before you might have been letting fear get in the way, but now, you know, you're working with uplifting and courageous energy. You know, you could release all your fear. You know, just choosing to share, you know, your knowledge or your wisdom, you know, with somebody who might need you right now. 
because of this ending. You know, we all have a story. You know, we all have some sort of spiritual teaching in us. You know, or maybe you just need to dive into your your own spirituality a little bit more. You know, the spirituality of, of, of God and the angels could be just, you know, the crocus is a, is a flower of healing and strength and wisdom, power. Whatever it is you were you were born to teach with that with this card, you know. I think for the week you're just it's just somebody needs you to listen to them, for you to share some of some a knowledge of yours with them, and then for others of you, you know, you could be. Really, a Sunday school teacher, a catechism teacher, going, starting that as your new career. That's awesome. You know, the ten, 10 of air, you just finished up your schooling. Now we're going to dream big. So, let go of, of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself success, succeeding. You know, in the past, maybe you saw yourself as insignificant. You know, get out of that mindset. Release any thoughts or feelings of, you know, feeling inferior. Like, release that feeling. You know, trust, believe that you're utterly qualified for any endurer that you can, that you're that you're dreaming about. You could dream about whatever you want. You could do whatever you want. Dream big. And your advice card, abundance. Okay, so abundance. So with this card, you know, you look into relationships with money and consider the profound changes involved in creating true eternal abundance. We also look at how two conflicting thoughts may both be true. But yet, you still allow this to keep you stuck. By exploring this, you know, the reality of your financial situation, you could begin to see what's going on in your underlying thought process. You know, you're, you're the, the, te the ten of air, you're stuck over this new career. Really, let go of the, let go of the small thoughts. I mean, dream big, cause it, it's gonna abundance. This is the week. You know, set your intentions for the week. You know, as the idea of being wise or foolish with money. You know, continuously, continually ask yourself this question. What is it I want from money? You know, too often we think we want money, but we don't know what to do with it. This week, set an intention to have a knowing about money. In other words, ask yourself, what will I do with all that money that I'm going to create? What will I do with all that money that I'm going to create? Because I'm going to dream big. 
this new career continuously all week manifest that dream big manifest as if you already have it okay Aquarius beautiful message for the week I love it thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video and to like the channel I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you back here with the morning oracle card messages bye bye